This is the problem about the dump truck, dump truck and it says a dump truck uses a hydraulic cylinder as the drawing illustrates when activated by the operator a pump injects hydraulic oil into the cylinder at an absolute pressure of 3.54 million pascals and drives the output plunger which has a radius of 0 0.150 meters. Assuming the plunger remains perpendicular to the floor of the load bed, find the torque that the plunger creates about the axis identified in the drawing. Notice at the end they're asking for torque so that means that we actually have to do some algebra here. Let's see what they give us here. They give us the 3.50 meters. They tell us that the axis is here, so that should be readily identified as being the lever arm. And then, of course, once I have the lever arm and they're asking for the torque, that also means that I have to calculate somehow the force. We'll do that in just a moment. So I have to use an equation from a previous chapter. Then let's see what else they give us. They give us the absolute pressure of the oil. So I'm going to write here P oil. It was supposed to be an I. So they give us that. Okay. Let's see what we're going to come up with. First of all, the hydraulic oil pushes from the bottom up here on, onto the plunger with those 3.54 megapascals but then atmospheric pressure pushes from the top here so we would have to subtract that so we have to write delta P equals the oil pressure due to the oil and notice the system is sealed so therefore we don't have atmospheric pressure from the bottom and therefore yeah we have to subtract the atmospheric pressure that pushes from the top so minus that okay now with the pressure given um, we can calculate the force if we know the area they give us the radius of the plunger and of course with the radius we can figure out what the cross-sectional area is. So we're gonna have that the force equals that delta P times the area and of course the area is pi r squared and because it's in the radius is given in meters. We don't have to convert anything. And then finally, we go back to a previous chapter where it says that the torque equals the force times the lever arm. And then that's what they want us to figure out. And then that torque, because everything is in standard units, will come out to Newton meters. This is a problem about the blood speed and it says the blood speed in a normal segment of a horizontal artery is 0.11 meters per second and a normal abnormal segment of the artery is narrowed down by an arteriosclerotic plaque to one-fourth the normal cross-sectional area. What is the difference in blood pressures between a normal and constricted segments of the artery? One of the words that kind of jumps a little bit out here is why does it say horizontal artery? But the reason for that one is that if it had been vertical, which actually our arteries are normally, um, then the height would figure in, then they would have to give us a height difference for, for the blood pressure. And, and they wanted to avoid that, so that's they say just, you know, it's horizontal artery or we're lying down and and so we don't we don't have any height difference. But it sure looks like we're gonna use Bernoulli here in a moment. But um let me get this up a little bit and then basically what they're saying is that this one here is being constricted to one quarter of the original and that's then what we have to figure out. Okay, let's see what kind of numbers they give us here. They tell us what the blood speed is in the normal artery, and I may want to call this V1 perhaps. So I make a check mark there and narrow it down to one fourth of the normal cross section. 
so they don't tell us what um, the cross section is but they say that the ratio between the two is one quarter so if I say that a2 which should be the constricted one or actually I could also write it as such I write this one here as I think they call it normal and constrict yeah normal and constricted so this one here is the normal speed and then they say that the constricted area divide by the normal area is one quarter so that one is also given and then there asking for what is the difference in blood pressures between the two segments so they're gonna ask for delta P okay sure looks like Bernoulli's equation so I'm gonna go in there and pick it and it's gonna be P1 plus and so on and I'm just gonna write it right away PN for normal so PN plus one half density of blood times velocity n squared and then it says plus rho g y1 however they say it's horizontal so the um, distance I'm sorry the height that you see on both sides y1 and y2 are equal and actually that's what it says in the book too when the flow is horizontal y1 equals y2 but Noli's equation indicates that higher fluid speeds are associated with lower fluid pressures and then that also means that those two are dividing out those two terms are equal and therefore divide out and then that equals then this by the way here was supposed to be an n p um, constricted plus one half Rho VC con, uh, squared and let's see this flow here will be faster so this will be a larger number than than this one here that's due to the equation of continuity it says when you have a constriction here it has to flow through faster so if I keep the velocities on the right hand side and the pressures on the left hand side I will come up with a positive number so I'm gonna have PN use the algebra PN minus P constricted equals one half the density of blood times VC squared minus VN squared VC squared minus VN squared Okay, and then this one here, of course, is delta P. We're supposed to figure out. And now here I have to go in. I, I know what the Vn is, but I don't know what the Vc is. However, this is where I use the equation of continuity, which tells me that the constricted blood flow velocity, blood, blood velocity, equals the one through the normal sized artery times its area divided by that of the constricted one and we know that this ratio is four times notice I wrote it differently uh, early on because it said in the problem one quarter but once I actually plug it in I have four over one so the velocity is four times as large so we actually know it right away 0.44 is the what this velocity is square that and then subtract 0.11 square multiply by the density of blood which I don't know if they say that in this problem here um, they don't say it but I guess we have to assume that it's basically the um, density of water so one point 1,000 kilograms per cubic meters. Oh yeah, and in the previous problems perhaps uh, we would also have to plug in 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. In the lab is where we plug in 1.0 grams per cubic centimeter. But here it's kilograms per meter, so it's 1,000 times one half of course and that then tells us what the difference in blood pressure is in Pascal. Comes out rather small actually, only like about a hundred Pascals but um, 
even that 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 kind of um, constricting the artery will lead to um, serious health problems.